Coast Coast Eagles have been excited about welcoming BT into their rooms for the now famous BT walkabout. Brian, down to you in the Eagles rooms. They're all going quiet here. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, Baz, we are in the middle of it here. There's a lot of excitement, but contained excitement, I would say. You can see Sam Butler sitting down here. Might catch a uh, word with Sam. Fantastic win, Sam. What, t what happened, though, towards the end of that quarter? Uh, what happened? Josh Kennedy kept missing goals. That's what happened. He's just still out there outside kicking him now. Just so what, what will you say to him? I've already said it to him. And uh, not too many words. So it will be, uh, he was pretty devastated, obviously. He missed those two or three. So, uh, and he gave him a sniff. And so was... as we just pan the camera along the wall here, Sam, tell us a little bit about each guy as we go, starting with the guy next to you. Uh, Tom Barras, probably the worst moustache in the game. Yeah. Very wispy. He's prepubescent. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and Gov, uh, the worst rig in the game, obviously. Yeah. We all know that. Uh, no, de no definition, no triceps, you can see. Yeah. Uh, Elliot Yo, uh, he's been talking up his brand low chances um, all week. <laughs> is he getting a little carried away with himself, Elliot Yo? Uh, he, he actually isn't, which is very un yo -y like he, but <laughs> I said you're not getting to carry away with yourself. But I've, been, I've been impressed because well, that would normally be him. Well, that's enough for you, Sam. You're hogging the camera, mate. <laughs> uh, let's go over here to uh, Sherrod Wellingham over here, of course, uh, Shazza. Things going along nicely, mate. That was a very good game for Wellingham. Yeah, it was, it was nice to get another win. Um, home deck. I think um, stringing, a bit of, stringing a bit of form together now, which is nice. Yeah, do you feel like the momentum starting to build for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I think that we're a little bit early, inconsistent earlier on there, but um, yeah, we're feeling it a little bit more, so hopefully we can continue it on for another, what have we got now, another 15 weeks or something. So if you were me, who would you talk to next? Um, go over chat to Hilly about Woody taking a hanger on him in the last five seconds there. All right, let's do that. So Hilly's sitting over here. He's a little disappointed. Easton Wood, he just told me to come over and talk to you about the hanger that Woody took over the top of you. Yeah, I want half of the prize money, mate. I'll let him know about that. So, uh, yeah, there's a few posters that are going to be put out there, but, yeah, good on him for taking that hang. Are you going good? You're kicking, you're kicking goals on a regular basis? I didn't kick one tonight. I had to help the backs out and uh, put a bit of pressure on down there. But, yeah, it's good to have, the, have another win at home, which is good for the boys. As a matter of interest, as we take a wide shot of you sitting on the box, what are you doing sitting on the box here by yourself? Well, I've got, as you said, with that hanger, you know, I've got, a, got a knee to the head, so I'm just sort of collecting myself a bit. But, yeah... <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll be reminded about it all week. All right, well done. Very good. Let's have a look at uh, oh, Sam Mitchell here, of course, just uh, taking, uh, cutting all the ankle straps off uh, there, Sam. Um, I think you had 34 or 35 touches. Bit of the norm for you now. Oh, yeah, I think I had most of them in the ha first half. I don't think I could. Yeah, could what did happen in the second half? Got a bit tired, you know, getting a bit old. Got a bit too tired. Now, they tell me that over here, you are the safari king. You have seen more of Western Australia than the West Australians have seen of Western Australia. Yeah, that's probably true. We try and uh, go away whenever we can. We've got the weekend off, so we're heading somewhere tomorrow. So where? Like, Give us an example of where you might go. Uh, Dunsborough, Bunker Bay, Geraldton, <laughs> uh, Margaret River, Swan Valley. Plenty of places. Oh, well, there you go. Sam Mitchell. Sam's safaris there, of course. I wonder where Josh Kennedy's gone. He probably doesn't, uh, doesn't want to talk to anyone because of the goal kicking at the moment. Uh, probably that's the reason. Where's, where is Mark Lacroix? As we look at, where's Mark Lacroix, Josh? Where is he? If it's, can't see him anywhere. Going around as we take a bit of a wander around here, you can see uh, a couple of the, uh, the players that missed out on the game were up in this area. Change rooms in that way as we keep spinning around here. You can see we might just grab the skipper here. Shannon Hearn is also with us. What did you think tonight, Skip? Uh, it's always good to win, mate. It's pretty much what it's about. Um, yeah, I think it was a bit scrappy, but I thought we defended all right. At times we used the ball well, but we've got to still keep, keep working on that, I think. What about last year? What, what did that play on the mind? Did that play on the minds at all? Uh, we're against the bullies with the final. Oh, mate, some blokes are might have, but you know, unfortunately that's gone. We can't do anything about that. So that's the way we play now. And I think we've managed to be able to play more consistent footy these days. And um, that's what we've got to strive to do to keep going forward. So you've got Essen and GWS and Gold Coast over the next three weeks. Yep. Well, you know, they're always different challenges and they're going to be playing well. We understand GWS are going all right. Gold Coast, uh, tough trip. But Essen next week, we'll enjoy this for a little bit and then move on. Well done. Thanks, mate. Shannon Hearn, the skipper. That might just about uh, do it from here as the players are starting to head back in the rooms now. It's access all areas here at the West Coast Eagles. Absolutely fantastic of the players to be involved this. So we thank the West Coast Eagles for that. Back to you, boys. BT, you've done the walk around around the country in the rooms. So West Coast haven't always had the reputation of throwing the doors open. They've been super accessible tonight. 
the vibe from your point of view down there as compared to the other winners' rooms that you've been in this season? A very composed, Baz. This is a room of not, not a lot of elation, sort of keeping it inside. They're thinking, well, we just got over the line. We've just got the job done. We're not that good. You know, perhaps we've got a long way to go in terms of getting things happening. So it's a very composed situation down here at the moment. I wouldn't say a super excited set of rooms. But nevertheless, the Eagles have been fantastic. I think the dogs have gone the other way. They've become become very media unfriendly of recent times. Oh, I'm, I'm sure the West Coast Eagles would be super excited to see you, Brian, oh, yeah. in oh, particular. Yeah, West Australian royalties. <laughs> beat. He's just behind you and I know they love it. Go on, one more, but a bit louder this time, one more big Wellingham. Beat. Wellingham. Just to, just to <laughs> soften that one. It's embarrassing. But anyway, look, they've been very accommodating down here and we thank, uh, thank them for that. Super job, BT. Well done. That is